most people think about skateboarding or surfing or snowboarding is these are the activities I'm going to stop doing, mm -hmm. right? As, and it's, they're the exact activities we want to be turning to towards. Yeah. So it's really, it's counterintuitive. So you're saying as we go into our 50s, that's exactly the when sports yeah. we want to take I'll give you. I'll give you another one. The sport that a lot of older adults go towards is swimming. Why? Because there's no pressure on the joints mm -hmm. and everything, right? You hear all that. And swimming's good. It will, uh, if you have a regular, if you swim regularly, it can add about like three, three and a half years to your life. Skiing, snowboarding, action sports will give you 10. Tennis will give you nine, badminton, seven, soccer, six, uh -huh. right? So swimming is the activity we, most people turn to, but the problem with it is bone density decreases over time. When you're swimming, mm -hmm. you're not loading your bones. So the reason strength training matters over time, one, you because muscles, muscle right. fibers decrease over time and we want to counteract that, but also bone density decreases over time and we need to load our bones and bones are crucial for balance, agility, all, all the physical side of it, but people don't realize this. The bones are the mineral factory of the body. So as we lose bone density, the brain, for example, runs on calcium, among other materials. Mm -hmm. Where do you think it gets that? It comes from our bones.